All right, you guys, another day, another adventure. Today, I am at beautiful New Smyrna Beach, and it's a beautiful day out today, and I wanted to check out a place kind of that I've always kind of wanted to see that I've never been to called Disappearing Island. It's a sandbar at the mouth of Ponce Inlet, and um, it really, it, it's great, and it gets exposed at low tide, which it pretty much is right now. So, uh, come on, let's go check it out and uh, enjoy this beautiful day and see what it's all about. All right, so I just left the boat ramp. Um, I don't know the name of the boat ramp actually. It wasn't really prominent. It's it's a looks like it's a county park. Uh, it's real nice, and it's, um, it's right across from the airport. And looking at the map, when I looked at Google Maps, it's the closest uh, it's the closest boat ramp to the sandbar. So I figured this would be the best way to go. It's great, super awesome ramp. Easy, ten bucks a day to park. The ramp was steep, um, but grooved, so it was real nice. And even at low tide, even the back tires for this boat uh, did not get into the uh, into the algae on the on the boat ramp. But anyways, uh, I'm excited. Check it out. This is what it looks like right now. New Smyrna Beach is an awesome. Uh, it's an awesome beach town. It's uh, great for boating. Great for fishing, um, and it's phenomenal for surfing. So it's kind of got it all. It's one of the it's one of the few real cool beach towns in Florida. one thing if you can hear me with the wind is that uh, my depth sounder is not working today so I have to actually uh, just use my polarized glasses and uh, and one of the other things it's a great tool if you ever get in a situation where you're in a, you're in an area and you don't really know um, how to you know where the no wake zones are and stuff there's an app called no wake and uh, it's K-N-O-W wake and it's a great app because it shows you where you are on the map and then it has in color green if it's a if it's a, a regular speed uh, yellow red whatever but it's it's a great it's a great app so i highly recommend it if you're in an area that you're unsure of so we're now in the in the mouth of the inlet and this is the sandbar and the way it looks at low tide there's the lighthouse that's the inlet out there. So at high tide, this island completely disappears. Everything at high tide, this, this whole island's probably under two feet of water, I guess. And uh, so it's a low tide thing.
Alright you guys, so we are in a place called Tata Island. As best as I could tell, unless there's another name for it. It's called Tata Island and it's really, really cool. It's um, just to the north of Disappearing Island, kind of tucked away. It's real private, uh, protected from all the wind and stuff. It's really nice. And behind me is the town of Ponce Inlet. Uh, and you can see the lighthouse back there. But this is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. you guys that was a fun trip um, definitely happy I did that another super cool place I go to all these places and every time I go I'm surprised at how great they are so I absolutely am so thankful that I went and I really had a blast so I was unable to do the uh, wrap up at the boat ramp just because it was crowded and I was doing some stuff and I forgot actually so I'm doing it here on my drive back home um, so what do I think about it? I think it's a great place. I think obviously you gotta go when it's low tide or when the tide's falling. Um, it, it's a huge sandbar. Uh, there's tons of clean water that comes in right from the ocean. So it's real nice. Um, I went actually to two sandbars. The first one was Disappearing Island, which was great. Really big, tons of places to go. There's like all different sections of it. In fact, when you look at like Google Maps and you look at um, Ponce Inlet, and you look at the inside, there's so many sandbars. I mean, I saw people in boats anchored everywhere, even places I didn't film. So really a great, it's a great place. It's one of the few great places on the east coast of Florida that is just really good for boating and sandbars and having a blast. So uh, definitely love New Smyrna. Uh, the second place I went to is a place that I think is called Tata Island. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what the official name is, but that's what it said on Google Map. And uh, it was cool. I liked that a lot too because it was much smaller, way more hidden, way more protected. Um, really nice tidal pools, so it was really cool for kids um, or for you know pets or whatever. But so much fun. So, anyways, if you're ever in the New Smyrna Beach area or you're nearby and you have your boat, I highly recommend checking it out. Definitely, definitely check it out and visit uh, that whole area, the Ponce Inlet area, Disappearing Island. Tata Island, whatever, um, you're going to absolutely love it. So I will catch you guys in the next video.